movie review time. Uh, this time I'm going to talk about a Norwegian movie that probably most of you uh, haven't heard about, certainly haven't seen, uh, and that is kind of a movie for kids, but that I totally love. It's one of my all-time favorites, uh, based on books that are also some of my favorites. So I just really want to share and recommend this movie. Kurt Bligrusom is the Norwegian title. Uh, the English title is Kurt Turns Evil. Uh, made by, what's his name? Directed by Rasmus A. Sivertsen. Uh, I don't know anything else that he's made. But I love him for making this animated movie. It's all computer animated and uh, totally unrealistic. The animation is totally unrealistic. It doesn't even try for realism. It's just wacky. Um, like the story, kind of. Um, it is based on the novels, children's books, whatever, short novels, by the Norwegian author Arlen Lo, who's one of my favorite Norwegian authors, um, who has this great attitude that he writes both for grown-ups and for children, and this his series of books about Kurt, the forklift operator. Um, they are supposedly for children, they're great for grown-ups too, I love them, but they're supposedly for children. Um, the subject matter is sometimes relatively inappropriate for the age group, uh, but when he's been asked, uh, doesn't he care about that? Doesn't he, doesn't he worry that children will not like, for instance, a book uh, with uh, criticism of uh, religious cults? Uh, he says that basically he doesn't give a fuck what children are interested in. And he thinks that the great things about children is that they are interested in whatever you tell them is interesting. Uh, which is kind of true. Uh, a lot of kids, at least, that I've met can become interested in anything, as long as you present it in the right way. And so, the books about Kurt are kind of... They have grown-up subject matter. But the jokes are childish. So, I don't know, it works great for uh, grown-ups who are a little childish, like me. Uh, and when my niece is old enough, I hope to test it and see if it works for kids as well. Um, they're hilarious books. I don't know if that they've been translated into English. I think they haven't. Uh, I know they've been translated to German. So if you read German, you should check them out. There's uh, five of them so far. And they're just absolutely hilarious. Uh, the movie is based on two of these books. Uh, the second and third. And it has the same title as one of the books. Kurt Turns Evil. Uh, and the plot is basically that this guy, our hero, Kurt, uh, is happy with his life. He's married to a woman who's an architect. She himself is a forklift operator, the best forklift operator in town. Um, a brilliant, just a natural genius at forklift operation. And uh, he has three kids, or he and his wife, they have three kids. Uh, Kurt Jr. and uh, Fat Helen. She used to be called Skinny Helen, because she was really skinny. Uh, or Helena, in uh, the original. Um, and then she got really fat. She gets fat in the first book. And after that they call her Fat Helena. Uh, or Fat Helen. And uh, <laughs> she's just absolutely hilarious. She's like a goth. Listens to death metal and is just really obnoxious. And then there is Bud, uh, the little guy who uh, looks just like Kurt and is absolutely adorable and funny. Uh, especially with one of the great things about the books is the interplay between Kurt Sr. and Bud, which is just hilarious. But anyway, Kurt is really happy, um, as long as he sort of doesn't know what he doesn't have. Uh, but then one day, uh, the house next to theirs is sold, and a guy moves in who's a doctor, who has, well, he has a lot of money, obviously, because he's a doctor, and doctors earn lots of money, uh, and he also has a lot of prestige, and that's the big thing. Uh, everybody looks up to him, he thinks he's cool, you know, he has an awesome car, and he's just super cool. Not like a stupid forklift operator. Blah. And Kurt is really hurt that his kids think this new neighbor is cooler than he is. And he's very hurt that his wife, she seems to think that this new guy, Dr. Petit, the neighbor, it's almost like she likes him more than she likes Kurt. And for Kurt, this is just, it's very hurtful, and it causes him to sort of reassess his whole identity. You know, as a forklift operator, his job is very important to him, he loves it, and he's so good at it. But now he suddenly starts thinking that it's not good enough. And he starts thinking that he wants to become, you know, somebody like that, somebody important, a doctor. But you can't just become a doctor. 
you know, you have to go to school for it. It takes a long time. So for Kurt, um, it's not as easy as it might seem, uh, but he, I was about to say that he <laughs> puts in his best effort, he kind of doesn't. But he puts in an effort, at least, uh, and it's just hilarious. Um, and when he realizes he can't be a doctor, he starts thinking that at least he could be something else, anything other than a forklift operator, which people look down on and think is stupid. And then suddenly, as you can maybe tell from the cover, suddenly something crazy happens, totally unlikely, but it happens and Kirk becomes incredibly rich. And that is when things get really interesting because as Kurt is warned by the guy who he get basically he gets something that is very valuable and he sells it for a lot of money and the guy who buys it he warns him that if you don't have a lot of money from before and you suddenly get a lot of money that it can make people sometimes it can make some people kind of evil and Kurt of course is convinced that that could never happen to him because he's such a nice guy and everybody loves him and he's so great so that could never happen to him but it does happen to him and he does become completely evil and it's just so hilarious uh, the animation is fantastic it's totally unrealistic they're not even trying for realism even though you can recognize all parts of Oslo in it if you know the city um, but they're not even looking for that the cast of characters is great in the Norwegian um, the one that I have here I'm reviewing it in English uh, because it is it has English subtitles. I don't know that it's been dubbed to English, but at least this edition has English subtitles. Uh, the voices are amazing. Atle Antonsen plays Kurt fantastically well, and the rest of the cast too is brilliant. I just... I love it. Uh, the animation is so cool. It really fits with this wacky story. And it's fun for kids, because there's a lot of physical humor. Uh, you know, defying gravity and things to looking crazy, but it really is a movie for grown-ups too, because... It has a whole other level, this whole thing with Kurt feeling that he doesn't measure up to society's standards, to his wife's standards, and to his own standards because he has a job that is generally considered, you know, blue collar. Um, he doesn't have education. He dropped out of school when he was 15 to become a forklift operator. And he's fantastically good at it, but he feels, even though he has been happy achieving what is, in fact, his full potential, uh, doing the thing that he does best. He starts to feel like that isn't good enough because society sets different standards that he feels he can't measure up to. And really, it sounds crazy when you look at this, you're not going to think this is a deep movie that can appeal to grown-up sensibilities because of its story, but it really can. It really can. It, it has a lot, actually, to say about the human condition in the modern age. Postmodern, sorry. Um, but first of all, it's a hilarious, incredibly funny movie. I so recommend it, Kurt Turns Evil. And also the books, uh, The Fish, Kurt Turns Evil, Kurt Kovadis, um, Kurt the Courier, and there is one in the middle, um, could be Kurt Town, which is the one with the religious criticism. And they're all amazing. I love Adel Lu. He is just the most fantastic guy. Um, awesome writer. You should also check out his books for grown-ups, uh, especially Naive Stupid, and also Doppler. It's a super cool book. Fantastic writer and a fantastic movie that really lives up to the potential of the books. Kurt turns evil. Beware of too much money and be happy with what you have. And Kurt does learn some very important lessons, but not until things have gone horrifically and hilariously awry for everybody's favorite forklift operator, Kurt.